Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. So we're entering Taurus season. Happy birthday for all the, all the Taurians. Um, let's see what we have for you. So what? let's pull an angel card. What do we have please for Taurus? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Taurus, thank you. Okay, two cards. Okay, so it, it feels like one message is, is following on from the other. We've got remain positive. The situation will improve. It feels like you'll be heading in the right direction. Um, you know, this person is, is finding the way to the surface. They can see the light, you know. It's, uh, it feels a really nice image there. And obviously you've got help along the way with those dolphins. It definitely feels like you're being assisted, divine energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the messages. We always do, Taurus, you know by now, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Message for Taurus for the week. Message for Taurus for the week, thank you. You are the Empress, but in the challenge position. Eight of Wands. And near future outcome, we have the Lovers. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Taurus. Message for Taurus, thank you. I'll clarify the cards on the table, 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Okay. Starting with the Empress, which is Venus in Taurus. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. And we have the Lovers, Five of Wands and the Lovers energy, Five of Swords. Taurus, there's an energy here of um, you're evaluating something on whether you see the long-term aspect and it feels to do with a relationship. I mean, the lovers can also be a partnership of whatever level, so it can also be to do with a business partnership. Um, it's, it's, it's generally to do with things like partnerships uh, two people who have a strong kind of like uh, union between each other. So whatever that resonates for you, it can be in business. It can also be in terms of love. You know, the lovers was always called the choice card. It was never called the lovers originally. So it it feels that there's some kind of choice to make to do with some kind of partnership that could be in love. It could be other areas of partnership because you're you're evaluating it feels and I, and I see this empress as you you know what's of value to you now what's not of value to you um it it feels like you're taking the long-term view of a situation on whether you see something working out long term um you're taking stock now the seven of pentacles there's definitely this energy of where do I place my energy and time? It feels like you've put a degree of time and effort into either this partnership, whatever this is. And generally when the Empress is in the challenge position, she doesn't feel the bounty. She's generally somebody who doesn't feel lack. But in the challenge position, she is challenged on that. You know, she can feel the lack. She can feel... Uh, unfulfilled you know it can be this kind of energy that you might be experiencing in whatever context so something is happening that's making you take the long-term view of the situation uh, evaluate your options what's of value to you now 
it certainly feels the advice from spirit i'm going we're going from a five you know to a six of swords as well here in this situation it feels like some of you are making up your mind to do with something um with this partnership because there's definitely an energy of healing um detaching from difficult times and moving in the right direction towards better times ahead so the message is the situation will improve remain positive it might well be you know the eight of what makes it positive it can be conversations communication news um or how you want to take action to move forward in a situation some of you might be making up your mind in how you want to deal with a situation here to bring equilibrium back in your life to make a decision in terms of a direction that you want to go in uh, it, it feels in this situation taurus you want to put the troubles behind you because i can see troubles here I can see troubles brewing in the near future and there's definitely an energy. I mean, the advice from spirit is there will be an opportunity. It could be to do with some news, could be to do with opportunity presenting itself, connections being made, um, you taking action to move forward. You know, it, it could be something is happening here that is allowing you to put these troubles behind you. And I feel it's to do with a choice there's some kind of choice or decision whatever's happening here so let's clarify the eight of wands let's clarify the eight of wands so yeah we have the strength so it's the resoluteness to move forward um to take action to move forward it feels in this situation to make some kind of decision or choice that is going to put troubles behind you because that's what you want to do now that can either be together or that can be you on your own you're certainly detaching from the troubles however this can be a healing energy as well the six of swords um let's clarify that six of swords for you taurus Yeah, difficult. It feels like a difficult decision uh, towards liberation and a new beginning. You know, the, the Two of Swords, it, it definitely feels some kind of difficult decision that you're weighing up here. And it feels that you're making some kind of decision ultimately here. Yeah. Because the lovers is a decision to do with this partnership. Yeah. Now this can be a Generally, the lovers can be a harmonious partnership. There's no obstacle that you can't overcome together as this union. But it feels in this situation there's some kind of choice because there's been a disagreement. And it's a disagreement that's been going round and round and round. And it's almost kind of like this can be heated energy. You know, you can... Uh, it, things can spiral out of control. Things can get more and more heated. Both, all parties want to win with the five of wands you know everybody wants to win and it comes to a point here taurus where i feel some decision is needed and i think that you're knowing that even though you don't want to deal or see with the truth it feels in this situation you're being forced to make some kind of decision or choice here because this is dealing with it five of swords is a card of dis it can be a card of conflict but it's the victory card there's winners and losers um and it feels like this decision, it might well be in this situation, is to decide which way you want to go and it might not please everybody. And I feel that that's what, to, to actually bring something to a close and put a difficult situation behind you, it's almost kind of like you want to take it in hand. You know, there's a, a need to take something in hand. But when you do, it feels like there is forward movement, there is progress. 
it's just the strength to take action, to move in the direction and go in the direction that you feel you need to go now. Um, so it definitely feels in this situation that there is some big decision and it feels like you just have to, a situation has got to the point where it just needs to be dealt with regardless of who is, is, um, who's winning, losing, hurt, uh, resentful, bitter, you know, fallout, regardless of the fallout, uh, it feels like there's some decision that you want to take here. But the message is remain positive because the situation will improve. You know, the Eight of Wands is a lovely energy of finding your flow. It can be to do with travel. It, it can be to do with just allowing yourself to move forward. But something needs to be taken in hand this week, it feels, to deal with a situation that's not going to end on its own. And it's almost kind of like, I know... You know, I know there's going to be winners and losers in this situation. So this could be to do with a relationship. It could be to do with a partnership, whatever this is. But it feels that something needs to be dealt with. You are the victor, but it comes at a cost. The five of swords, it comes at a cost of friendship, relationship, partnership, um, hurt feelings, lack of respect, call it what you will. So, you know, uh, but it, it feels in this situation, it's the only way to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, you see, and I've got the Knight of Wands at the end, you know, now the Knight of Wands can be opportunity coming your way, um, but it's a card of inspired action, the Knight of Wands, you know, I'm taking the reins of this situation because I just need to deal with this conflict now, it's gone on for long enough, far enough, and I've evaluated my options, and I just want to put a difficult situation behind me, get back on the horse and charge ahead. And it feels in this situation that that's what you want to do, Taurus. You know, it feels like something needs to be taken action towards, something needs to be taken into hand um, in order for you to just put a difficult period behind you and move forward. Yeah. Final card. Let's pull you a final card. Yeah, so you can manifest, I think. We have manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation, step one. And it definitely feels like you're doing some evaluation, taking stock of a situation, whether you see the long-term future with somebody or not, or whether they're of value or how much of value this is to you. It definitely feels like something is causing disruption in your life and you just want to deal with it now. The messages remain positive because when you do, that is beautiful. You are heading towards the surface and feeling better. You know, the Six of Swords is a feeling better energy. You know, I'm calmer. I'm moving forward now. I can put that situation behind me. And, you know, I'm just open to new opportunity, conversations, moving forward with my life. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.